Well, when I was little, I actually always saw my dad drawing and stuff like that, and so he started doing creating chalk arts, and my senior year in high school, I actually started doing with him. And then about two years after that, I started doing them by myself. You know, what we do basically in chalk art, we're a performance art. Uh, we perform for the people around. And this type of process, you can watch art being produced in the, from your sketch all the way up to finishing a large piece. I was basically working in the studio with acrylic paint for about three years before I stumbled across street painting. And I thought, wow, this is a really cool medium and a really neat way to, um, to do the artwork in front of people. I was already painting in large formats because I painted uh, murals. So I thought, wow, let's give this a try because I'm used to painting really big, so we're going to do it on the ground now. For me, as an art teacher, it's very difficult to find the time on my own to do some artwork. And so for me, this became a way for me to really kind of exercise my artistic talents and creativities. And um, it really became something more. I just fell in love with the sport. The, one of the common questions people ask when you're talking is, oh my gosh, don't you feel so bad and sad when it gets washed away at the end? Or what happens when it's over? Well, they come and they pressure clean it. Oh my gosh, it's just terrible. And I'm like, no, 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 this, this is a performance. I'm here for you. I'm here to do my artwork and for you to see what I'm doing while it's all happening. That's the excitement of it. And when it's all done, I walk away from it just as if I walked off the stage and not having the space to sit in your house to actually create something this big. It's great to be able to just go out there and do it and you get to talk to everybody and the kids really enjoy seeing what you do. They have so many different questions like why do you not have shoes on? Why do you have chalk all over your hands? Why is this chalk different from the chalk we use? And so it's, I love hearing all the questions and answers and the kids' fascination with, oh, I want to create chalk like that when I'm older. For me, there's certain artists that are from the past that I'm really drawn to, and I'm usually drawn to the artists that have a lot of color, um, a lot of intricate designs, and I want to educate people about those artists of the past and, and kind of get them into art and get excited about it just through my artwork. Well, you know, you, you, you tend to look at doing smaller pieces. I mean, you, you, you can see it, you can focus on it. A larger piece, you, you can't get away from it to see it as well, so it's just a challenge. Every concrete is different. Yes. This concrete is fairly new concrete. This con concrete is probably about five or six years old. Very, very new concrete is very difficult to get the chalk to stay down. There have been some areas, I've done it, we've done it on bricks before. So it's always a challenge. Or on the, on the roads. Yeah. So you have to deal with like oil stains or the yellow marks in the middle of the roads. You have to take the challenges that Mother Nature or what we do and put them for your art that a normal canvas wouldn't provide.